if people walk into that door in their authentic selves, the real world is a beautiful experience. I know they signed up to put all of us together, but they wasn't ready for this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. I didn't initially want to sign on. <laughs> I had to think about it. Uh, I don't just do anything blindly. My agent called me. Shout out to Dana Sims at CAA. Um, she called me and she said, hey, I got a phone call about doing a reunion. I was like, no, thank you. I'm not into this whole way reality television has changed. I'm not into that going back and forth and beefing and arguing with people. I don't want to do that. I'm happy in my house. But I also thought about the fact that seven of us had not been together since that first season, really. And, and it, so it's been since the 90s that all of us have been in the same space. And because of COVID, I don't take for granted life. You know, we've lost over half a million Americans and we know millions of people around the world. I know people personally, family members I've lost to this crazy virus. And so I said, this might be the last time we ever get a chance to do something like this. And then I also thought about my own personal journey as a black person, as a black man in this country. And I said, this is an interesting opportunity to revisit something, go back to actually go forward, you know, to talk about some things that are important to me, particularly in light of the Me Too movement, in light of Black Lives Matter, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, all those different things. The biggest change I experienced filming, it was 13 weeks the first time versus us going in for four days or whatever it was and watching some episodes technology is a whole lot different. There were cameras everywhere this time around. Overhead cameras. I would look up and I would just see, I was like, you know what they playing right now? Like it was cameras everywhere where back in 1992, the technology this just wasn't there. There was only one black person behind the scenes. It was a production assistant the first time. There was hardly any women. It's amazing to see so many women in leadership positions on the, on the production. That's important to me, not just racism, but also fighting against sexism. Not just what's on, on camera, but what's happening behind the scenes as well. It was amazing to see a number of women of color in leadership positions helping to shape this show this time around. I didn't have that when we first did Real World. I didn't see these young women and men of color. So it, it, it's beautiful now. I can't speak on the real world beyond the first two or three seasons, to be honest with you, because I stopped watching after that. And I have watched other reality TV shows. The only thing I can say, which I feel in my bones, is that if you're going to be on social media, the internet, TV, film, whatever it is that you do, and you really consider yourself woke, as we say in these times, conscious as we said back then, then you do have a responsibility not to take for granted these platforms. When I agreed to do the real world the first time around, I wasn't like, I'm gonna be up in there, like debating people about race and racism. That was the farthest thing from my mind. I was a young writer just trying to get my hustle on in New York City. But what I do remember saying to myself when they said I was picked for the show, I was like, I'm not gonna be on that show shuffling and jogging. I'm not gonna be a buffoon. I'm not gonna be a coon. None of that stuff that we've seen historically that makes black people look bad. I know I said that to myself. The rest of it just kind of came out organically, just like it came out organically with these new episodes. And um, I can see by the responses, and I'm saying this with all due humility, it's like, it's been profound. I think where the success and the power of the real world, where it resides, is people that watch it, at some point and in some season, you will find a little bit of yourself there. You may find yourself in that situation with a person that you don't know, with a person from a different background, with a person who says something and you don't know really know how to respond or where you coming from or how, how far is this gonna go? Like, I think that's the power of it. I'm championing for the show, not because I'm on it, but uh, it's because I've been blessed to see what's behind the curtain.